All right, taking a small time break on Sunday morning. Uh, I've been getting messages, phone calls, everything. Shout outs to all of you. Uh, Got to talk about this. Got to say if it's good or not. I'm going to be harsh. I'm going to be harsh. Maybe people won't like it. It makes all other Pokemon game look like crap. That's how I'm going to start my review. This game is a masterpiece. It's the best Pokemon game ever. I don't get people giving it a 7. Checked on Metacritic and everything. I just don't get it. Uh, you're free to do what you want. It's an open world. You kind of have to capture everything. And it's really cool. The crafting. You have to craft your Pokeballs. You have to craft your items. You have to... The crafting is not complicated. You can actually get through this. I... I a bunch of games make it so hard to craft and you need this super rare nugget on top of the hill. Kind of like Monster Hunter. Because you got to grind a lot to do your weapons. And it's very annoying. And this thing, crafting Pokeballs, unlocking stuff, everything is so simplistic. You go throughout the levels, you have some missions, you have epic boss battles that I really like. Like those giant alpha... Pokemon's the fight. I only fought three. I think I'm up to the fourth one. I'm only wondering, anybody got further enough in the game that... Because when you have dual fights or whenever you're in the map and you, you pop up your Pokemon and you want to fight to capture whatever, you have like two, three Pokemons attacking you, but you only have one Pokemon. Is there a way to have two Pokemons fighting for you against three? It's kind of weird because everywhere you pop it out... Any Pokemon that are free on the map will attack you. Your Pokemon. And when your Pokemons are dead, they will attack you too. So you gotta be careful. Once all your Pokemons are died, uh, died, or whatever fight you're doing, you just go back to the tent on that map you're in. And they all revived. And then you go back. But you gotta run away. Because when the screen turns red on your character, you're dead. You black out. That's not good. But anyways... It's so much goodness, freeing, amazing. Anyways, I was saying I, I'm overly excited for this game. I don't know where to start and where to continue. Um, yes, you do have to capture all the Pokemons you see. Some rare ones are there. Might I suggest throwing some orange berries so they can focus. Like, hide in the bush. You can hide in the bush. And when you hide in the bush, they don't see you. There's a stealth way. There's a bunch of ways to capture. The capturing is actually fun. Other Pokemon games, yes, a lot of people are masters and they want to capture them all and they're really good. But this one, you actually kind of have to. Other games I meant, I didn't capture everything, but this one I really want to capture everything. And it's really fun. And it's always challenging, but in a different way. But it, it's so realistic. The capturing thing is just... So amazing. The more you capture, the higher your rank star is going. I'm at five stars right now. I think the top is 10 stars. And the more you upgrade your star level, the more stuff you can craft and the more powerful you are and the more powerful Pokemons you can capture. Now at five stars, I think four star was level 50 Pokemons I could capture. They will, they will respect you at four stars, level 50 Pokemons. And then... Too much stuff to to to. I'm 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 losing my way. I'm trying to do this the best I can over the top of my head. Anyways, you have to capture them. Everything you see, because then your star level make. Eventually, in the story, you'll be stuck, and they would tell you the uh, office manager, whatever you want to call her, uh, if she didn't upgrade you to the level of star you need to do the next story mission. Kind of like, you know how I said like Monster Hunter Stories Part Two was the dream Pokemon game I always wanted. It was really good. It's kind of like the same, like Pokemon took from Monster Hunter. It's really kind of Monster Hunter stories. I can't wait for part three. But yeah, so you need to be in that level, higher level, to do the missions. Then you have to capture everything. And throughout the map, somehow, some Pokemons, Alpha Pokemons, they will spawn and they're really tough with the bigger and you and the guy red eyes and it's really epic. But you have to scan them with the ZL button, I think. And once you scan them, you can see on top of their heads. 
If you have an orange Pokeball appearing, you can capture them. But if you have a red X, don't even try. Don't even try. I still can't capture that Snorlax on the first map on the side. And I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I guess I'm not level high enough. But the whole capturing thing, the story, you have to capture everything. You have to capture the alphas you can capture at the level you're at. The alphas will give you more points when you finish a level. And then you will unlock a more higher star level. Then you can go on. But make sure you capture the alpha. Always scan those alpha Pokemons. And then to make it even better, sometimes a big ball of... It kind of looks like a Fortnite ball or Call of Duty, you know, like... A big ball will spawn over the map and in there is just hell and there's a bunch of items on the floor and you can walk around and survive if you want but then some really tough pokemons will spawn inside that and that's is another perfect way to upgrade your star level to go in those giant spawning balls or world inside the world i don't know how to explain it. it's really awesome i always run into those and you capture those pokemons then your star level will go up RPG masterpiece the story also the story these days. I'm like skipping throughout the stories, you know, it's just I Wish it was kind of voiced, but not really anyways. It's good enough story is actually not that bad and you actually Listen to what the story's going through. It's not that annoying, but like I said, I'm 15 hours in at star 5 I'm doing this review. I was hoping to finish it over the weekend, but I think it's longer than I think I can't wait to go and capture some legendaries and the hard stuff. And that's that's about it. That's about it. What more can I add? Got to be a must own, must buy. Really, like, did I see every single Pokemon? I'm trying to figure out, like, all generations. I don't know what generations it stops. But correct me if I'm wrong. This Pokemon is supposed to be before all Pokemons. Anywho, must buy, must own. And uh, don't miss it. It really makes the other Pokemon look like you don't want to go back and play the old style. You don't have gym leaders, but you have evil guys. You have to fight always those three sisters. Eventually, you have some challenging whatever they are of clans, of different clans of the map. The Pearl and Diamond clan. So I think it is before all that. Anyways. It's really, 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 really good story. The whole open world, realistic crafting, walking around. I've been walking around and just trying to capture everything I see. And just that is priceless. I always wanted an open world Pokemon and an actual game that would force you to capture everything. Because I always went through them so fast and I never captured everything to 100%. This one I want. And it's just... You have to. The more you capture, the more you're rewarded. So, plus those side missions also. There's a bunch of side missions you could do. Some of them are quick. Some of them are slow. Side missions. The reward aren't that great. But I would do suggest do the side missions inside the maps, if you know what I mean. Because some of them allows you to open other camps throughout the maps. And the camps, well, you can craft. You can sell your stuff. You can rest. You can revive your Pokemons. You don't have... A revive station in the village or whatever whenever you walk back in the village you can revive your, your Pokemon revives automatically you do have the farm oh the other thing I forgot to ask which is an usual uh, the best part like the best masterpiece of all is I always hated when you upgraded your Pokemon you lost a move you lost a move oh you got to forget a move you only allowed four moves you know how they did it in this one you got all your moves. You just click on your Pokemon. Yes, you got four moves, but all the moves you learned are all there. So you want to make the ultimate fighting machine, you could actually choose your move. You don't delete anything. That is priceless move, Nintendo. Anyways, it was made by the good guys, Game Freaks. Not the Japanese cellular phone thing we got on Remastered of Brilliant, whatever. I don't want to talk about that. It was so much crap. Anyways... So that's it. The, oh yeah, so you go back in the farm in the village to switch back from your Pokemons, the ones you want. So combine the uh, the ones you want the most. Like you gotta make sure you gotta move to counter everything there's on the map. 
And I'm trying to figure out if I I should take a Machomp in my... Uh, I need a fighting style. I only got Stravia, I think, with one punching move. And I need more fighting in my group. So I got to figure that out. And that's it. Did I forget anything? I wish, of course, there was a online multiplayer. Like two players. I guess eventually. This says it's online in the back. But also the online is good. Because you got some request missions. It's kind of a new thing and they're easy to do. Like you have to pick up bags that people drop throughout the map and people do requests online, uh, something like that. And you get rewarded with that and they're kind of easy. And don't forget to redeem your mystery gift online. I wish there was a two player like on the map co-op fighting and capturing Pokemon. It'd be epic eventually or a four player. I guess it's going to get a patch or whatever, but this is a masterpiece. This is the best Pokemon game ever made. No questions asked. Enough of me talking. It took me all my courage to come and do this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Have a great weekend. Hope you're playing this. And uh, I'll see you soon.